Hey guys, good morning. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, as you can see behind me, we got a really nice trade in. We just got this in. Some previous owners traded a 2023 Renegade Explorer. Got just over 8,000 miles in excellent condition. The midnight exterior, really sharp looking coach with that exterior paint. And uh, let's go over so let's go over some of the specs on the new uh, new trade-in that we just got in so in 2023 uh, the Explorer was built on the Cascadia P16 chassis it's got a this particular one has a 505 horsepower with 1850 torque <clears throat> um, coming down the side here you'll notice here we've got the safety assurance package on it. So from Freightliner, Cascadia, you're going to get um, blind spot monitoring. Collision mitigation is also going to be part of that safety assurance package. And then adaptive cruise. So that's all going to be part of uh, the safety assurance package from Freightliner. Why don't we get down, moving down the side here. So we've got a uh, Renegade feature, the double latch, slam latch, baggage doors, I like to call them. So easy to open and close, very smooth transition when opening and closing all your compartment doors. As you can see, that's all lined inside this compartment bay here. And there is a light up top, give you some good lighting when you're in these compartments at night. You'll notice, notice we've got a conduit running to each one of these doors. So you all, each one of these baggage doors do have electrical, so you can lock and unlock your baggage doors from your key fob, <clears throat> excuse me, or also you can lock and unlock all your compartment doors from the actual keypad right here at the entrance door. Again, not lacking storage on the patio side with those two compartments there. But as we get to this bay, you'll notice it is taken up by the Aqua Hot 450 diesel. 450D Aqua Hot is what heats your hot water and that's what will heat your coach. You'll notice on the side over here, we've got these little slide locks so that comes each each renegade will come with those um, If you're traveling on some roads, it may be a little bit um, Call them washboard roads uh, Roads that you don't know how smooth they're gonna be You may want to have those locked in place when your slides are all the way in It just keeps the slides nice and tight and secure when you're going down the road Up top we've got the outside entertainment system so you'll notice the sound bar, nice Samsung LED television. And then we do have an electric step at your entrance here, um, all the way around. One thing that's nice too about the Renegade, you'll notice how solid, solid the sidewalls are, even around your fenders, around the wheel, the wheel well here. More storage. And that one goes kind of three quarters back underneath the rail. So if you've got longer items, maybe you've got some golf clubs you're carrying, fishing poles, paddle boards, additional luggage, just have some nice extra storage that goes underneath the rail there. And then on this back compartment here, we do have some loose tile that you'll notice in there underneath the uh, central vacuum hoses. By the way, this does have the central vacuum throughout the coach. And then these are gonna be what they call the glad hands. So those are for, if you do have a trailer that has air brakes on the trailer, um, those, would be, those would be installed here. But on the rear of the coach, we've got a 20,000 pound hitch. Brake controller, hit, it's pre-wired for brake controller here. This is for a Voyager camera system. If you do have a um, camera on a trailer, you can toggle between the actual truck camera and your trailer camera using the Voyager system there. All LED running lights, brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights. Also your backup camera is gonna be located up top here. And we're running the generator right now, so that's where the exhaust comes out right here. Speaking of generator, this has an 8,000 watt Onan diesel generator. Only 12 hours on this generator. And then again, we got some additional storage. Plus, this is where your 50 amp power cord is located. 
simply run this cord out the bottom here. When it comes time to hook that up, you can run this out the lower part, close the door so you can plug this in, keep the door shut. And then you do have a retractable shore power reel, if you will. And then this little cover here, close this off when you're traveling. Back in the back there, you do see a surge card, power transfer switch. So what that does is it will sense when you're plugged into 50 amp or 30 amp service. Um, and it does transfer the switch power between shore power and the, and the generator power. When the generator is running, the generator will take over so you can unplug and still use air conditioners, TVs, electrical outlets, anything that's requiring 110 power. You know, some nice docking lights. You got them on both sides there. Some nice bright docking lights. If you're parking at nighttime, it gives you some nice visual with the lighting that it gives you. <clears throat> um, the Explorer is going to be a quad slide. So you do have two slides on both sides. And let me grab this. I'll just show you real quick. So um, it does come with a mobile app where you can pair your phone to the coach and that system it's trying to pair right now so let me go in here just kind of demonstrate it so if I were at a campground or a, a truck stop or something right now and I wanted to run my slides out all I could do is simply go into my app and now I can go to the slide controls and if I want to run the the front slide out simply hold this down and you can see my living room slide is coming out now Again, if I were parked next to a big diesel truck or a tree or something like that, it's nice to be able to be outside and visually see that you've got the room to operate the slide. So there's something I wanted to point out there with the, with the app. And the app also controls your HVAC, your lights, generator controls, slide outs, awning controls. So quite a bit that it, it will um, function for. All right, moving down the, into the compartment bays, you'll see here we've got the water bay. <clears throat> and in here you've got, um, let me move over here. You'll notice how everything's etched in here. So this will never lose its appearance. It says Renegade there, black tank dump, gray tank dump. So everything will stay nice and easy to read with it being etched into this. And then, um, uh, your tank, your gate valves are located here, of course. Your sewer flush is on the side here. Cable hookups, uh, tank fill, city water. You'll toggle this up and down depending on how you're operating it. It does have a whole house water filtration system that goes here. And then you do have your city water. It does pull out. So you retract it out here. And there's, so you walk this out and then there is a retract button there to pull this back in and of course similar to the shore power earlier if i want to run this city water line out and keep the door closed you do have this little access port here to run your lines down below so you can close the door when you have everything hooked up Okay, and that's next to the water bay is going to be your holding tanks. So you've got two 75 gallon tanks located here, one being your gray tank, the other one being your black water tank. Everything, when you pull those gate valves, everything will dump to here. And then you'll run an elbow out here so you can dump your tanks. These are heated tanks. You do have heat strips on both 75 gallon tanks for your black and your gray water. Okay, we got additional storage here. You'll notice the Victron energy system here. That is a 3000 watt inverter. And then moving down to this bay is gonna be, this came with the optional lithium batteries. Additionally, it does have the optional three 175 watt solar panels as another option on this one. And then in here, you've got your crank, your, these are your uh, engine batteries. Of course, these are the house batteries. You'll notice it does have Right here, we've got a little 
access port here, so a quick connect to tap into the air on the coach. It also has a 50 foot over here, kind of coiled up on the side here. That's a 50 foot air hose that will go in place here. You want to put air in your bike, bicycle tires, other vehicle tires, you can pull air off of the coach for that. And then because this is the shorter cab, so this is a, a P16 P16 chassis, 116 inches is the cab size. You've got 120 gallons of fuel. So you'll notice the fuel tank is located right here. And that kind of extends behind this panel, if you will. This is just a decorative panel here. Um, and then you've got your 13 gallon uh, diesel exhaust fluid be located there. But that's where, how you fill the fuel for both diesel exhaust fluid and diesel. <clears throat> We've got side cameras on both sides of the cab. Let's open this up here. So back to under the hood here, you can see it's easy access to all your belts and hoses, the air filter, all of it's gonna be easy to get to. Um, the, P, the, the Cascadia 2023 Renegade Explorer is powered by a DD13. It's a 505 horsepower. I think I mentioned that earlier. So 1,850 pound foot of torque. But as you can see with it being a front engine, you're gonna have much easier access getting to the belts and hoses, um, coolant. And here you got your easy access to, for your windshield wiper fluid. And of course, when you're done working on it, it does have a soft close. Easy to open, easy to close. All right, let's go inside and we'll take a look at the floor plan. So come on in. So first off, slides are in, so you can see how easy it is for me to navigate up to the front here. So pretty simple there. And if, if someone needs to access the restroom while you're on the road, the 40 ERB floor plan does have the half bath. So you've got plenty of room, plenty of leg room. If you're using the toilet here, you do have some good, good, good amount of room here with the door closed. And then I was mentioning to you earlier about pairing your phone to the, to the coach. So this has that Vega touch system here. So if I go into the bottom app, you can, you can pair your phone using the mobile app, but everything that's on this system is on your phone. So you've got lights, gin controls, thermostat, fan controls, slide controls, all part of that program built into the Firefly system. I'm gonna go ahead and run some slides out. So if you wanna back up there and let's get the, uh, the front slides out first. So we're gonna go get this one out. So that with the opposing slides, it's really gonna open, open it up quite a bit. Uh, this does have the mocha cabinetry throughout. <clears throat> so with the midnight exterior and the mocha cabinetry, really a sharp looking coach inside and out. Uh, let's see here. And it does have the standard like uh, pull out sleeper sofa. Also the dinette will break down into a bed. I'll demonstrate that here in just a bit. Let's get the slides out first. All real tile floor. Uh, speaking of tile, this does have the optional heated tile floor. So it does have heat strips beneath the tile floor. All right, and we'll go out with the back ones here. All right, just running a couple more slides here, folks. So we have multiplex, multiplex light panels throughout. So if you don't want, don't have your phone in hand, and you're not near the Firefly controls where I'm standing now, there are those little black switches throughout the coach where you can operate lights and fans, um, different controls there. 
All right, one more slide to go. As you can see, we've got the the TV across from the 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 sofa and the dinette. It's a good viewing angle. Um, this one does not have the optional fire fireplace. So what's nice about that, in my opinion, is you gain some nice additional storage under there. And then there's full, full extension door glides, drawer glides. Um, you'll notice a construction on the side here. All your drawers are going to have that dovetail construction. This is your release on the television. So this will pull out. You want to get an angle more towards the front. The captain's chairs do swivel around. Um, so you can get a better viewing if you had folks sitting up front. Also, if you notice behind here, nice place to, for storing all your DVDs, uh, games, any kind of games you want to carry along with you. You have room back there to add receivers for satellite. This does come with an in-motion satellite. If you want to add um, PS or the PlayStation or Xbox or anything like that, you want to add to the coach. Definitely can do that. You've got plenty of room back behind here for adding game systems. <clears throat> and as you can see right down below it, we've got the sound bar and hide the subwoofer down below here under the sink. You do have some additional storage around the sink. And with this floor plan, you see how much counter space you get. Lots of counter space and everything's flush with these inserts here. The sink inserts keep everything nice and flush. It does have a one piece bowl, stainless steel sink with a residential faucet. And we got the kitchen window with these manual pull down MCD roller shades. Here's your induction cooktop. It's got a two burner induction cooktop. And then we got, again, four full extension drawer glides. Great storage. Nice big drawer here. Very nice size pantry storage. As I missed a cabinet down below here. So you do have some additional storage underneath there as well. Moving down the line here, we've got the uh, Samsung residential refrigerator. So ice maker is gonna be located here. The rest of this is all freezer storage down below. And of course, refrigerator up top. I love the way we have Renegade puts these little latches here. So we're very simple to operate and lock. So when you go and travel, it keeps everything nice and tight. Above the cab, we've got some storage up here. We do have an electrical outlet inside of this cab, or inside of this cabinet. And then above, above head here, we have, you can notice the equalizer system. So this is, has your hydraulic leveling jacks, operation controls is gonna be there on the right. Your booster for your over the air antenna is located here. Also, you'll notice there's two, two buttons here. Um, so this has the wine guard in motion, or excuse me, antenna for over the air antenna. Plus it has the 3.0 uh, wine guard um, LTE or the, or excuse me, um, Wi-Fi service. <clears throat> oh. Sorry. I will call you back. <laughs> um, and then overhead here, we've got some awning controls. I mentioned to you earlier that this does break down into a bed. Um, before I do that, just want to point something out. You've got electrical outlets on both sides of the beds. USB and USB-C plugs are also on both, both outlets there. You'll notice a nice place for cup holder. And then underneath here, this will have a release. If I flip this over to the left side and just give it a gradual push down, that will go all the way down 
There's two cushions in the back that will fill this void here to make this one nice size sleeping area. You got kids, um, small adults, kids, nice little sleeping area. But down below each one of these dinettes, we've got the full extensions on both of them. We've got some privacy shades are going to be in, in this drawer here. We got some great storage. And then we've got the sleep the sleeper sofa. Each one of these has a little lift on the arm armrest. It's a little place to keep all your remote controls or additional smaller items underneath, hidden out of the way. <clears throat> so this will be a pull-out sleeper sofa. This all the way out. About a double bed. Um, pretty good size. And if you notice, tucked underneath here, looks like we got three sets of seat belts, or excuse me, two sets of seat belts. So two seat belts there. Plus, there is some seat belts in the booth dinette facing forward. Okay, and then the overhead, one thing that Renegade does a really nice job on, you'll notice as I'm opening these cabinets, got the heavy duty hinges. They're keeping them all open. If you're loading cabinets, it's, you know, these aren't sitting there creeping down on you. They use the heavy duty hinges on all their cabinet doors. Those are just some additional sunscreen protectors, window screen protectors up front. Previous owner left behind. Okay, and then above the entrance door here, we do have some additional storage. And I got a coat closet. You've got three hangers in here, plus a little shelving here right at the entrance. And then down below here, we've got the house breakers, the inverter control panel, um, or inverter breaker control. It's gonna be, I think, one of these panels here will be it. So that's your inverter. Everything wired to the inverter there on this panel. And everything wired to the main on this one here. And then this is gonna be your Victron inverter control screen there. And there is an actual insert that goes here. It's where your step well is located. I did notice in the back here, we've got this little step cover. I won't put it in place, you guys get the idea. So it does have a step cover that goes in place there. So coming back to the bedroom, we've got King size bed, this is an RV King, so it's 75 inches in length, um, but it's also where the 150 gallons of fresh water is going to be stored. So if I lift this panel up, you'll notice we've got two 75 gallon tanks here. Put this in place. So this, if you're working under here, you do. Come, it does come with this post here, so you can prop that up, so you can access the water pump, your low point lines. <clears throat> it's all going to be easy to get to under being inside under the bed. And then we've got notice the little ledges on both sides of the bed. You'll have electrical outlets on both sides, USB and USB-C outlets on both plugs. And then above the bed, you can't quite reach it, but nice deep storage all the way back. And then if you're laying in bed, you've got a master light on off switch underneath the bed. Plus you have additional light controls as well as your generator on-off controls are gonna be right there above your head. 
And then in front of the bed, we've got some good wardrobe storage. So we do have some hanging clothes storage here. Three nice size drawers. And then down below here, we've got your like your entertainment area for the bedroom, if you will. So you do have a Blu-ray player down below here. I didn't mention it to you, but there is a Blu-ray player in the living room as well. I did see it does have that. But additional shelving here, again, if you want to add a receiver in the back or add a game system back here for the bedroom area, you certainly can. LED television. And then you do have additional storage here. If you've got longer garments, this comes out. You can pull this post out so you can get your longer clothes in place there. These are coming out and going in. I think I got it backwards. That's okay. We'll keep moving here. <laughs> All right, coming back to the master bathroom. Um, again, it's a bath and a half. The 40 ERB is going to have the half bath, which I was showing you right at the, you know, when we came in the motorhome. But you do have additional master bath here at the back. Pretty decent sized shower here. I'm six foot two. I got plenty of headroom. I've got an adjustable shower head here. Um, yeah, solid Corian, all surround sound in here. Corian countertops here for the sink area. And then you have some good storage up top, medicine cabinet storage, electrical outlet here for the bathroom area. Some nice, again, full extension drawer glides for your ba uh, bathroom toiletry items. <clears throat> And then right off to the, well, if you want to come in here, I'll get a shot of this. So you do have some good linen storage down below here. Additional hanging storage up top. Here's that, uh, the step cover I was showing earlier. Plus here are, these are those um, pads to make the, the booth dinette into a bed. It's hidden back here in the back at the moment. All right, and then we've got the optional stackable washer and dryer. And you'll notice you've got the toilet down below here. By the way, both toilets, these are macerator fl macerating fl flushing toilets, all porcelain bowls, plenty of leg room, dedicated spot for your toilet paper, towel holder, all you know, important items, just like you have at home. Additionally, you have a ceiling fan. Also up top, you'll notice we've got the air conditioner. That's a Coleman Mach 15,000 BTU air conditioner. So it does have two of those. You've got one in the bedroom, one up top here, all ducted air conditioning. Both air conditioners will have heat pumps. Um, I mentioned to you it has that Aquahot 450D. That's what will heat the coach and heat the hot water um, as well. So you've got two heat sources there, plus the electric heat beneath the floor tile. We're coming up front here. Um, we are, again, in a Cascadia P16 P chassis. Um, in the 2023, you've got this really nice ergonomically designed cab area. Turn this down here. So you've got the, this is all Daimler Mercedes operates. Well, similar to like our smaller um, Mercedes operated um, vehicles. Uh, this is a Daimler setup as well. So you'll notice on the steering wheel here, I got the large Freightliner wheel, but also um, on the right hand side here, I call it the, the mouse. So if you notice as I'm scrolling with my thumb here, I can navigate through the different ga the gauges um, and if I want to go into an actual system, like say I want to go into the cab systems here, I can see I've got um, 
th this is for the, the regen. There's some settings in here I can go into, driving assistance, system settings. So really easy to operate through, kind of works like a, a phone, you know, when you go into a system and you need to get out, you just hit your home screen. Volume controls are at your fingertips. Navigation's all built in here. Um, also down below, you, and this is all a touch screen as well, so there's your GPS maps. But down below here, I've got an on-off switch right in the middle here. Um, if I want to go directly to my tires, I can click this button here and I can see where the PSIs are on all my, all my tires. Um, there's some, again, some diff different shortcuts down below here, if you will. And then on the le on the actual the gauge for the uh, the, uh, the the odometer, if you will, so you have this left side of the steering wheel is going to operate items through the gauge on the actual uh, the dash cluster. Um, there's a setting there where I can I can reduce the distance between me and the vehicle in front of me. Again, this does have adaptive cruise. Um, but yeah, so all the operations through the dash cluster are on the left side of the steering wheel. All the operations for the backup camera, if you will, GPS, are going to be located on this side. And actually, I said backup camera. That's wrong because the Explorer has a backup camera up top here. So you have the dedicated rear backup camera control up top there. <clears throat> and then down below here, we do have some additional features. Um, you can do a light test. If you, if you operate the light test, it's going to run all the lights around the coach, so you can walk around it and see what lights are working and what lights are not working. Um, you can regen. If it's calling for a regen on the dash cluster, you can hold this down and that will automatically burn off the diesel particulates. There's a footwell light, so if I just tap that button, that lights up my footwell on both sides. Dome light's going to be up above. This is your hazard controls utility light, auto traction control spin on and off. Um, but yeah, so all these are nicely labeled for you. Your rear diff lock, if you're in a uh, slippery situation, you wanna lock your rear diff, um, that's easy to get to. You can lower the suspension height by this, using this button here. Um, earlier I was mentioning to you about a camera where you can toggle between the actual coach camera and a a camera that you may have on your trailer that's what this switch right here would be for and of course you have your um, air conditioner heat and air controls for the cab area you'll notice you've got some USB-C outlets here this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but you do have to be plugged into it to access that there's some 12 volt outlets over here um, rest of it's more I mean very automotive like um, with the power windows on the side here, your mirror controls, um, and then also this six-speed Allison transmission is going to be in the steering stock here. So there's this little system here that's um, flip that into drive, neutral, reverse. Very simple to operate. Um, it, this does have the Allison 4000 series with a three-stage engine brake. So if I have it pushed up um, or forward, if you will. Um, it's off, but there's one, two, three clicks. Those are my three-stage engine brakes, so very easy to operate when you're going down the road. Um, these things drive great. Like I mentioned, it's got a 505 horsepower. It's got 1,850 pound-foot of torque, uh, 20,000 pound tow hitch. Very easy to drive, get around in. It's like a little little race car, actually, but it's a big motorhome. <laughs> um, see if I missed anything so some specs I just wanted to cover uh, it does have just over 8,000 miles on it <clears throat> excuse me 40 ERB floor plan it's 40.5 in length so 40 and a half inches overall length at ride height you're 13 feet 2 inches I mentioned earlier it's got 120 gallons of fuel 13 gallons of diesel exhaust fluid um, and weights so this has a 41,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating and just double checking the sticker on it earlier, it's got 4,103 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. So it's quite a, bit of, quite a bit of carrying capacity you can put on here and still tow up to 20,000 pounds. Folks, if you're interested in a uh, 2023 Renegade Explorer 40 ERB, uh, my name is Grant Russell. Today is March 27th. We just got this in. It's still available. 
give me a call. You can reach me at my uh, cell phone number below at 720-539-4711 or shoot me an email at grussell at transwest.com. Hope everybody has a great weekend or week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.